We're here at the Bryce Jordan Center where the Penn State Nittany Lions are set to take on the Fighting Illini. Now these teams actually met earlier in the year where Illinois defeated Penn State 75 to 55. But since then, Illinois has lost eight straight games while Penn State has actually won three of their last four. Now in Thursday's loss to Michigan State, Tim Frazier actually became the co-leader for career assists for Penn State. So we'll be on the lookout to see how early he notches his first assist in this game. Penn State started out hot as they quickly jumped out to an early 7-0 lead, thanks in part to a jump shot here from DJ Newbell and a layup from Donovan Jack. Jack was assisted by Tim Frazier on the play, which moved Frazier past Freddie Barnes into sole possession of Penn State's all-time assist record. Frazier, however, would only finish up with two on the afternoon. But this game was a battle, and Illinois climbed back into this one right away. Illinois coach John Gross decided to shake his lineup up for the first time this year and started two freshmen. Now as the half ticked down, Tim Frazier hit a three to tie it up going into half. Now one of those freshmen, Kendrick Nunn, decided to make the most of his opportunity as he hits a three here early in the second half. Nunn would lead all scores and post a career-high 19 points, making his coach look pretty smart in the process. Now despite the game being so close, Penn State was not able to get into any sort of rhythm on offense like we've seen in the recent games, and Illinois sure did capitalize. As the second half ticked down, Illinois defense cranked it up and Illinois managed to hold on to a 60-55 to victory as they denied the Nittany Lions a chance of the season split. The Illini actually held Penn State to just one field goal over the last 9:44. Coach Pat Chambers on the loss. We hit the big shots when, and they made the winning plays and the big shots when they needed to make them. That was a desperate team we played. I mean, that was a, that was a, uh, that was a battle. That was a flat-out battle. Two teams that were scratching and clawing. It's unfortunate that one team has to win and obviously it wasn't us. When asked about his team's offensive struggles, head coach Pat Chambers said it stemmed from a lack of ball movement. With the loss, Penn State now drops to 12-12 and 3-8 and and in the Big Ten. They now take on Indiana this Wednesday at 8 p.m. in Indiana. For Penn State Sports Night, I'm Pat Phillips.